get light. Sea temperature 76 degrees. Wave height 2 feet. Wave period 9 seconds. On the western sound, Kings Point reported a northeast wind at 7 knots. The air temperature was 70 degrees. At Bridgeport Harbor, a north wind at 4 knots was reported. The air temperature was 65 degrees. On the Great South Bay, the Stony Brook University School of Marine and Atmospheric Sciences buoy reported a northeast wind at 10 knots. The air temperature was 71 degrees. The report from Execution Rocks was not available. The report from Western Sound was not available. The report from Central Sound was not available. The following are coastal weather reports. As of 7 a.m. at Eaton's Neck. Temperature was 68 degrees. Wind was northeast at 14 miles an hour. At Morgan's Point in Glencove, temperature was 68 degrees. Wind was northeast at 10 miles an hour. At Fire Island Coast Guard, temperature was 70 degrees. Wind was northeast at 8 miles an hour. At Jones Beach, temperature was 68 degrees. Wind was northeast at 8 miles an hour. At Breezy Point, temperature was 70 degrees. Wind was north at 6 miles an hour. The Surf Zone Forecast for the New York City Beaches. For today, rip current risk, moderate. Lightning threat, none. Surf heights, around 3 feet. Ultraviolet index, 8, which is categorized as very high exposure. Surf temperature, 74 degrees. Weather, mostly sunny. High temperature, upper 70s. Winds, northeast winds around 5 miles per hour, becoming southeast in the afternoon. Tides, at East Rockaway Inlet, high tide at 4.02 a.m. Low tide at 10.06 a.m. High tide at 4.35 p.m. Low tide at 10.58 p.m. Precautionary preparedness actions. A moderate risk of rip currents implies that individuals planning to enter the surf should check with local beach patrols first. Be sure to swim what's inside of a lifeguard, and never alone or at night. Always have a flotation device with you in the water. Swim near a lifeguard. If caught in a rip current, relax and float, and do not swim against the current. If able, swim in a direction following the shoreline. If unable to escape, face the shore and call or wave for help. And end. Gert begins to weaken as it races toward colder waters. At 5 a.m., or 0900 UTC, the center of Hurricane Gert was located near latitude 41.7 north, latitude 54.0 west. Gert is moving rapidly toward the east-northeast near 39 miles per hour and this motion is expected to continue today. A slower northeastward to east-northeastward motion is expected on Friday. Maximum sustained winds have decreased to near 100 miles per hour with higher gusts. Continued weakening is forecast, and Gert is likely to lose its tropical characteristics by tonight. Hurricane force winds extend outward up to 35 miles from the center and tropical storm force winds extend outward up to 175 miles. The estimated minimum central pressure is 968 millibars 28.59 inches. Here is the latest weather map discussion. High pressure centered over upstate New York and extending into the mid-Atlantic will drift east and offshore through today. Meanwhile, a warm front, associated with low pressure near the Great Lakes, slowly approaches from the southwest. Today will be mostly sunny to start, and then clouds will increase this afternoon into this evening, especially to the west. Highs will reach the lower and mid-80s. The warm front moves into the area by late tonight and moves north Friday morning. Light rain showers will be developing tonight as the warm front nears. Some patchy fog will be possible, especially along the coast. Mild air will be in place tonight and humidity levels will increase. Lows tonight will be in the upper 60s to lower 70s. Friday the warm front will move north of the region and the area will be in a warm and humid air mass. Showers and thunderstorms will become widespread, with the potential for periods of heavy rain in the afternoon. With cloudy conditions and precipitation in the area, highs will reach the mid-70s to around 80 degrees. Showers and thunderstorms continue Friday night with lows in the mid-60s to mid-70s. Here is the official National Weather Service forecast for the New York City metropolitan area. Today, mostly sunny. 
Highs in the lower 80s. Northeast winds around 5 miles per hour, becoming southeast this afternoon. Tonight, mostly cloudy. A chance of showers after midnight. Lows in the lower 70s. South winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chance of rain 50%. Friday, showers likely. A chance of thunderstorms. Some thunderstorms may produce gusty winds and heavy rainfall in the afternoon. Humid with highs around 80. South winds around 10 miles per hour. Gusts up to 20 miles per hour in the afternoon. Chance of rain 70%. Friday night, mostly cloudy. Showers and thunderstorms likely, mainly in the evening. Humid with lows in the lower 70s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Gusts up to 20 miles per hour in the evening. Chance of rain 70%. Saturday, mostly sunny. A slight chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning. Humid with highs in the upper 80s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chance of rain 20%. Saturday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 70s. Here is the extended forecast. Sunday, sunny. Highs in the mid 80s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows around 70. Monday, sunny. Highs in the mid 80s. Monday night, mostly clear in the evening, then becoming partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 70s. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 80s. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 70s. Chance of rain 30%. Wednesday, mostly cloudy in the morning, then becoming partly sunny. A chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the mid 80s. Chance of rain 30%. The Central Park New York Climate Summary for yesterday, August 16, 2017. Yesterday's high temperature was 87 degrees. This high was 4 degrees above the normal high of 83. The record high is 96 degrees which was set in 1944. Yesterday's low temperature was 70. This low was 2 degrees above the normal low of 68. The record low is 55 degrees which was set in 1980. The mean temperature was 79 degrees and was 4 degrees above the normal of 75. No precipitation fell yesterday, which leaves the monthly total at 1.86 inches. This is 0.56 inches below the normal amount of 2.42 inches for August. The total precipitation for the year still stands at 33.59 inches, which is 2.37 inches above normal. There were 14 cooling degree days yesterday, which is 4 above normal. This brings the monthly total to 159, which is 17 below normal. The yearly total since January 1st is 862, which is 50 above normal. The normal high temperature for today is 83 degrees, and the normal low is 68. The record high for today is 95, which last occurred in 2015, and the record low is 56, which occurred in 1979. Sunrise today is at 6.08 a.m. and sunset is at 7.51 p.m. The coastal waters forecast from Sandy Hook, New Jersey to Fire Island in Let New York out 20 nautical miles. For today, northeast winds 5 to 10 knots, becoming southeast this afternoon. Seas around 3 feet. For tonight, south winds around 10 knots. Seas 2 to 3 feet. Chance of showers after midnight. For Friday, south winds 10 to 15 knots, increasing to 15 to 20 knots in the afternoon. Seas 3 to 5 feet. Chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning, then showers likely with chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. And for Friday night, south winds 10 to 15 knots. Seas 3 to 5 feet. Showers and thunderstorms likely, mainly in the evening. Winds and seas higher in, and near thunderstorms. The marine forecast for New York Harbor, including Raritan Bay. For today, northeast winds 5 to 10 knots, becoming southeast this afternoon. Waves one foot.